What's going on my Flyby family? It's your boy Izzy. Welcome if you're new. So, uh, I didn't really think this was a big thing. And I had a few people ask me, like, you know, what did I think about Shaq talking about the short shorts on Andrew Reese and stuff like that. So I actually want to get into what Joe Budden had to say about it and uh, his team on his podcast and actually get my input on it as well. We're about to get all the way into it, but before we do that, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy if you like the content, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 16.7 by the end of the day, so if y'all can help me out with that, I highly appreciate it. And don't forget to get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this. Let's get it. All right, so what I want to do is I want to just play the clip really quick so we can remember what was said, how she was looking. Don't don't strike this from the tape, Christian. We ain't striking it. Don't, don't, don't. I'm telling you, if you just lower like that to where it gives you your ability to dunk. Bro, imagine you. In I'm not same, imagining. On, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, dunking. You know how many t-shirts you're going to sell, Claire? You tripping. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> what? Oh God. The same little shirt you had on. Okay. All right. 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 Okay. So we heard the clip. That was the evidence of everything that was said. Now let's see what was said on Joe Budden's podcast here. So it's really disappointing because I love Shaq. Um, Shaq had Angel Reese on his podcast. No, he no, was no, on her podcast. On, he right, went on hers. I saw the background right. He's on her podcast, and he's talking about he's being playful, talking about marketing ideas, you know. And he's like, you know, if you would wear those short shorts that y'all wore, that you wore on Wild and Out your sales would go through the roof, right? That's the basic gist of it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's trying to cut them off. And I almost wish we could play it because, like, you got to hear the discomfort. She tries to, like, end the conversation, change conversation. He says it again. And she's kind of like, like, chill. Basically, the vibe is like, chill. I'm just saying. She said chill multiple times. Yeah, she said chill multiple times. So for me, that is, it was just creepy to me and weird, like, and I'm not saying Shaq had bad intentions. Maybe he didn't. I don't know what's in Shaq's brain. He seems like a good dude. Every time I've seen him, he's a great dude. But he's too damn old for that shit. Angel Reese is 22? She's young, young. She's young, young. She's I got young, kids young. older than Angel Reese. Angel Reese is 22 years old. Shaq is in... He's old, way older than me. He's in his 50s. Mm -hmm. You can't be talking to no young girl about her short shorts, in which, especially when she's uncomfortable. And I'm not talking about if, you, if it's a different situation. But she's uncomfortable when you're too old for that shit. It felt creepy, and I think a lot of old heads should look at that video and realize that that's how we look when we be trying to holler at girls that's, that's, that's younger than our kids. Okay, so first off, I don't think this dude necessarily watched the entire thing or watched what really happened. He probably picked up on a short and like vaguely remember most of the things within it. He said it one time, and then started asking what. And then said it the second time. It wasn't like he said it, she was trying to interrupt him, and then he said it again. Now, another thing is, he's saying she's 22. Like, she's an infant. Like, she's a child. 22, last time I checked, you're an adult. Okay? You're a young adult. Oh, just because you're a young adult, you can't be with an older adult. Stop acting like that's not a norm in America. There are plenty of celebrity relationships where there's an older gentleman and a younger lady. And we all know that men prefer younger women. It just is what it is. Now, there is a such thing as cougars, you know. Um, there's older women that prefer younger men. It is what it is, man. That's America. <laughs> Shaq even said it in this interview himself. Like, if you think that I'm trying to holler at Angel Reese, you don't know me. You don't know the relationship levels of what they have. You know, they probably joke around like that with each other. Who knows, right? Um, and honestly, I could take it as he was giving business advice. He was just saying, like, look, if y'all get the booty shorts, <laughs> men will watch even more, which is true. I mean, I've seen men watch uh, volleyball more, track and field more because of the outfits. You see how he's looking at Joe Budden. Joe Budden is known for dating younger women, too. It's kind of funny how he's looking at Joe Budden right here. I'm ready to see what Joe Budden had to say. I saw a lot of young girls tweeting and shit. was like, I hate when older dudes talk to me. It makes Boom. me feel like, they, it was a whole bunch of them was just like, yo, 
somebody gets it. Like, I hate that shit. Like, bro, go talk to somebody else. Like, I, Right. You lost me at the end of, uh, at the last part of your statement, though, which was when older dudes try to holler at a younger girl. He... I'm not saying he did. I'm just saying that's what... But that's what we're talking about right was. this second. But yeah, I'm not saying he was trying to holler this at her. This is someone that you invited on your podcast. Mm -hmm. This is someone who on air referred to you as a sister. Yes. So why is it the old guy talking to me in a creepy way, trying to holler or in a way that's making me uncomfortable versus an older athlete who was probably the one of the best at branding and marketing and doing the best doing commercials Arguably the best. right yeah 100% why is it not that person giving me a great business idea you can give that idea i'm just asking a question you, you, i'm not you, you can give I, that in a i don't have a horse in this you can give that in a different way but i think it's important to read the room too she was uncomfortable that part is important. she was not okay with it. i'm not saying i don't think shaq was trying to holler at her i think he looks at her as a little sister yeah, or and, and treats her as a mentor and she looks at him as a mentor but if your mentor is suddenly talking about your little ass shorts that shit is weird See, that, and that's that's where my problem kick in at right there because y'all know i am super angel reese hive like i don't even speak on something if, if she's not in a, in a proper light i won't even talk about good. it good i could have used you last week yeah yeah but with all that being said one of her biggest critiques about everybody else is that she's being sexualized what do you expect to happen not saying it's right or anything but you don't see a lot of the other WNBA stars claim that they're being sexualized you also don't see them the way she presents herself yeah people there's a correlation there you can't argue about being hypersexualized by society if you wear things that are basically like, wow, look at me in a sexual way. I disagree. I think there is a correlation. However, if I am 22 years old mm -hmm. and I'm wearing short shorts, I, should, I shouldn't be shocked that there's memes about me. I shouldn't be mm -hmm. shocked that there's 28-year-old men saying, yo, Angel Reese, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's all fair game because that's what you're signing up for. And there's nothing wrong with women being sexual and showing their bodies they have a right to do that without right. being mistreated. Right. We're, not, yeah. we're, not, yeah. we're not talking about... No, I, know, I, know, okay. I know, I'm know. i just establishing that so later on people mm -hmm. don't say, well, what about... I agree. But a 50-plus-year-old man doing some creepy shit is not fair game just because I'm wearing short shorts. They're, it ain't just the short shorts. Or, or this ain't no one-time thing. No, I'm saying, it's or my, whatever. That's my point. No, though. no, she be outside, and she, she wears shit that 22-year-olds wear. She makes sure to show off my shit. Yes, but what I'm saying is if... So people so are going to comment on that. Not just that sort of 50-year-old man now is supposed to be blind? No, he's supposed to re remember that he's a 52-year-old man. But he did that by not sexualizing her and in turn giving her a grand business idea. Uh, uh, an idea and a few days marketing. later, I wish I knew the other young lady's name, the athlete girl, she signed... A, uh, when her sexy pictures went out a few days later, she announced a brand deal. The, the girl Jada. This kind of reminds me of the... Uh, the Ethica deal. Yes. I think her name is Jada. This kind of yeah. reminds and me And she of got that. a deal for the... For the for Ethica. For, for the gym clothes. Yeah. So what, what would be the difference? Hey, it's the same thing we got on... Uh, I want to say that's Bill Maher's ass. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. We, we got on uh, Bill Tua. Maher's ass for the Hawk Tua girl when he sounded like a creepy old man saying, you should start a podcast and transfer your audience and do something with your notoriety. Not even a month later, she took his advice. His, her number two was... And she has, she has one of the top performing podcasts in the country. So... Nothing wrong with giving advice. He, he, he sounded to people, including... I, I can't say what Angel thought but i know how she responded she responded like she was uncomfortable and the people watching me, like like, me, like, like like ice was saying the, a lot of the women watching were like oh i know how that feels i feel uncomfortable when that happens we got to take into consideration that what we're doing regardless of our intentions is making people uncomfortable that has to matter it's like when somebody says some racist shit, it's like i didn't mean it to be racist yeah but if we all felt like yo that was some racist shit we might want to think about that see the, she, where, where i shoot shack some bell in this though kind of the word is, uncomfortable has turned into like yeah, yeah, it has. Um, Uncomfortable is a very, very overused. I shoot Shaq Bell because he kind of, all right, look, if you constantly going to be out here showing off, wearing the short shit, showing off, hey, dunk in it. Yeah. Make some money off Make that some shit. money off of it. That's, now, now, once she responded and showed that she was visually uncomfortable with that, I would have left it alone. True, too. right. 
Sure. I, that I, 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 I would have left that, that, that alone. That. I'm I not mad that. at him saying but, that, though. It's like, yo, dog, it's like when somebody tell you, if you're going to be out here shaking your ass and show, yo, go get paid. But he, pro- he, he probably looked at it as an OG that even if you tell you on code, I'm just telling you what I'm but, telling but, you. But, and you I'm know why? I'm not trying to make no, you And no, I'm mad at the internet. The internet react without considering people's lineups. Like, Shaq Roster don't say to me that he got to be on air trying to bag or make uh, Angel sure. Reese uncomfortable. I, I, I think I don't think he's trying. I don't think he's trying. After she was, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. He didn't say it again. So that's why I'm kind of confused on, like, what they're, what they're trying to say. Like, he didn't continue saying that. I, I thought it was blown out of proportion. I didn't even speak on it. That's how small I thought it was. But a lot of people really taking this to the Internet and making content off of it. Now, some people are – taking things out of context and putting it together to make a good video. I, I definitely didn't want to do that. I don't think he was trying to make her uncomfortable or be sexual or anything like that. Throughout the whole interview, he, he calls her beautiful, gorgeous, uh, attractive. He calls her all these things. They even had shorts after that where they did little skits together and stuff, man. It, look, if Angel Reese is fine... Y'all should be fine, too. Just because you wouldn't do it, you think the world shouldn't do it. And I get it. I wouldn't necessarily, if I'm 50, I'm not necessarily looking for a 22-year-old. Some people around that age done been through marriage, done been through it all, really. And just at this point, just want to enjoy life, have sex with people, and move on. He's talking about Angel Reese like she's some child or teenager or, no, she's a grown woman. She's a grown young lady. One thing that's wrong with society today, man, they will think it's creepy and weird and nasty for an older gentleman to talk about what the woman is, the young lady is wearing, but won't say anything about what the young lady is wearing. Like he was simply talking about, yeah, it's what 22 year olds wear and this is what they do. Why is that normalized? I personally wouldn't want my daughter with her booty cheeks out on live television. I don't care if that's what all the 20-year-olds do. I wouldn't want it. So why is he having such an issue with with Shaq saying something about it, but he didn't have an issue with her wearing it? That's the problem with society. He's trying to shame older men for talking to younger women. Look, if they can pull younger women, don't be hating on their game, man. If it's in the player, the player going to play. Don't hate the player, hate the game, man. He had another segment. I'm going to spare you all for it. But he started talking about what if it was Kobe's daughter or whatever. I'm like, bro, now you're being speculative. I mean, I look, <laughs> I'm not even going to go down that road. Shaq know what's going to happen. Uh, he knows what to say to go viral. He was saying it the whole podcast. Like, look, take a picture of this. Do this, do this. And watch how viral it goes. Yeah, look, I could possibly be wrong, man. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Is Shaq a creep? Uh, should older men not go after younger women? Let me know in the comment section. I love y'all. Y'all keep it smooth.